All right, time for a close-up with the Ruger Super Black Hawk Hunter. Yes, what a piece of steel. Long, seven and a half inch barrel. Quite the piece for hunting if you are into handgun hunting or just plinking, target shooting, whatever you want to do. This is a nice hefty gun in 44 Magnum that will absorb the recoil. And if you want to put a scope on that thing and uh, take it off and return it and it'd be pretty much on zero, it's uh, what you want probably. So, 44 Magnum. Let's put some rounds in this thing and fire it. Yes. 44 240 grain slugs. Just want to give you a look up close. Yes, if you want to see more of it, we have another video with this fine piece of Ruger craftsmanship. Okay. Let me put my ears on because you know a 44 Magnum tends to make some noise and as usual in our close-up videos we do a lot of really long range shooting you know out to five six seven yards maybe ten cans all those delightful little targets I see a ballast all can sitting on a stake I wonder how it got there I don't know if I take really careful aim I might be able to pop him <laughs> I believe I did. I see a Coke can there. Wow, 44 Magnum goes through that aluminum. I'm a little bit surprised. I wonder if it'll break a clay pigeon. Probably since it's 240 grains of lead. Hmm, apparently got through. Not much risk of it bouncing off, I guess. And another Listerine bottle. Somebody filled with water. Let's get him again. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't get too much of a shower there. All right, did he fire five or did he fire six? I think he fired five. Let's take out, or let's take a shot at that can growing out of that weed. All right, popped him. I do believe that was six. Yes, it was. All right, when you're not under zombie attack or something, you don't necessarily have to count your rounds. Of course, when you're over here in the woods on the compound, you do have to keep track of your rounds and make sure you have a fresh load ready because, or another firearm, you never know when one will come stumbling around out from behind a tree or whatever. So let's put some more of these in there. Yeah, this is a pretty sweet gun. It's a heavy gun, of course. I mean, fairly heavy, because it's a pretty big gun, but you know, it's not necessarily something you would want to shy away from. Uh, when you have extra weight like this, you have a nice big gun, and if you just put moderate loads in it, then it's something you could, you could hand to someone who maybe is not really experienced because it's not going to just knock them over. A gun does absorb a lot of the recoil. That's the advantage of a heavy gun. A little heavy to hold, maybe, into sight, but you don't get hurt as much. Let's see if it'll go through that uh, clay pigeon. Sometimes some of those clay pigeons are thicker than others, you know. All right, went through that one too. <laughs> as well as the log it was sitting on. <laughs> Let's finish him off. Yeah, that one went through the log too. It's fairly dead. Now there's an old can of spray paint there that uh, is about half full. So hopefully we are out of range of any of that paint action. We're going to take a shot at him. Wow! Wow! <laughs> well, it's sort of coming back at us. <laughs> Hope it doesn't paint the camera lens. Okay. Oh, a gallon jug of water. Always a preferred target. Yeah. Always works. Oh, there's a Bellastall can here, too. An empty one that was about to attack. Yeah. Hanging out right there close. Let's hit that can again growing out of the tree or bush. Click. Okay. Six shots. Remember with the Ruger, this is a modern single action. 
Again, that's why I'm loading six. The hammer is not resting on a uh, live round or anything. The modern single action design takes care of all that. It's not an issue at all. And uh, now if you take one of these to a cowboy shooting match or something, the Vaquero version of it, you will just load five. And that's just the way they operate because you don't only are allowed to load five and shoot five at a time. So you treat it like an old Colt or something. So, oops, see there I am. I just out of force I have it. I almost skipped that chamber to load five. But I load six in this. It's not a problem at all. Again, you notice the, the uh, loading gate activates. Uh, I took out five instead of six out of my pocket. Uh, force I have it. The uh, loading gate is what uh, releases the cylinder. So it'll spin. You don't have to cock it or anything. So, new action. Okay, now what do we have left here? We have a steak for one thing that has not been shot. <laughs> of course, it doesn't necessarily blow up a steak or anything, as it just puts a hole through it. Doesn't matter how powerful a round is, quite often it will just penetrate what it's hitting. It's like a 223. Makes a little bitty hole going in at least. And you know what? To, uh, to uh, wrap it up here, I'm going to shoot some specials. Again, that's one of the advantages of these guns. This is a shorter round. It is jacketed and it's a hollow point, which is pretty irrelevant, but because it's just a 44 special. And if you have a gun like this, can get your hands on some 44 Special ammunition, you, you could definitely hand this gun to anybody in your family. If they can stand up and walk out to the range, then they're probably old enough to shoot this gun. Or let's say if they can lift this gun up and, <laughs> and sight it, uh, it would not recoil too much for them, put it that way. Even though it's a big, scary looking gun, well, it does not have big, scary bullets in it right now. Cartridge it has 44 specials and uh, let's take a shot at that uh, clay pigeon there. I think even a 44 special will go through it. <laughs> you might be able to tell the difference. Uh, you certainly can if you're here. Okay. You watch the, the gun barrel. It doesn't even move. Barely, barely moves. It's about like shooting a 22 plinker. <laughs> I believe that was the last one. Yeah. So that makes a 44 pretty versatile, being able to shoot specials in it. Hot magnums, light magnums. You can shoot about anything in this gun. Uh, light on up to really hot, because the Ruger's famous for being a very powerfully built gun and being able to withstand hot rounds. So uh, the Ruger Super Black Hawk Hunter is an interesting uh, firearm. It, uh, it it's a modern version of the single action. You know, it's not doesn't have that uh, that romance that that look of the authentic Colt, of course, or the Colt clone. But it's a really really nice gun, and shoots really well. Easy to shoot, pretty well. So, uh, hope you enjoyed seeing that thing up close again, and we'll check in with you later. Life is good.